Hi, it's Tom from Tom's Tech Reviews. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your new iPhone 12 and transfer all your data from your old iPhone onto it. In this tech guide, I'm transferring my data from my iPhone 8 onto my iPhone 12 mini. Now, before we start, it's a good idea to have your Apple ID and password to hand, as this may be required at some stage during this video. An important point to mention here is that you will need to trigger this process before you set up your iPhone 12 and before you get to the home page on it. So if your iPhone 12 screen is displaying hello in different languages, then you're good to go. Otherwise, you will need to reset your new iPhone 12 if it's already showing the home screen, such as here on my iPhone 8. Now, there is another way to transfer your old data across if your new phone has already got to the home page and that's with iTunes but that is more time consuming method and you'll, you'll also need to back up your iPhone to iTunes first. I will leave a link to the iTunes method in the description below if you'd prefer to do it that way. But for now I'll quickly show you how to reset your iPhone 12 if it's already showing the home page and it's really easy to do. Just go to settings, general and then scroll down to reset and then just tap on erase all content and settings and that's it. So let's continue with the transfer process by swiping up from the bottom of our phone. And now we get this pop up message on our old iPhone. If you don't see this pop up window, there is a way to trigger it. Just tap on the power button on your iPhone 12 to turn its screen off and then tap again on the power button or move your phone to switch the screen back on again. And then swipe up on the hello page and this should trigger the pop up message to appear on your old iPhone. So now let's select our language and then our country and then tap on continue on the pop up message. And then we have to hold our iPhone 8 over our new iPhone, the camera, so that it can pick up the animated QR code. And there you go. Finish on new iPhone. OK. And now we need to enter the passcode of my iPhone 8. So let's do that. OK. And it says setting up your iPhone. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Now Face ID, iPhone 12 enables you to unlock it using your face. So here we go, let's set up the Face ID. OK, continue. Let's get started. So I've done that. Face ID is now set up. So tap continue. And now we have the option to transfer data from iPhone. So we need to just tap continue on that. There are other options. You can restore from an iCloud backup or from a Mac or PC, which would be using iTunes. We're doing the direct method and there's the option to move data from an Android phone. So let's continue. And now we have the terms and agreement. So there's quite a lot of that. So I'm not going to read all these. I'm just I'm just going to click on agree. Agree, agree to that. Okay, I'm going to continue with that. Okay, I'm going to continue for that. Okay, so I want that. Uh, I'll set up my Apple Watch later. Improve Siri dictation, share audio. I think I'll leave that for now. I think I'll leave that for now. Okay. If you get this software update screen, it's because your iPhone 12 has an older version of iOS 14 than your old iPhone. And it needs to be the same or later version of iOS 14 that's installed on your old iPhone to be able to complete this data transfer process. And for me, I was stuck on this software update screen for about 50 minutes until I decided on plan B. But if you're lucky enough, not to get this update screen, 
or you're not stuck in it for ages, then congratulations. Please let me know your lottery numbers for this week's draw and continue watching this video. But for the rest of us who have got bored looking at this frozen update screen, please click on my video link in the video description below how to fix iOS 14 not downloading during transfer old iPhone to iPhone 12, which should solve our issue. For all you lucky people that didn't get stuck on the software update screen, let's continue. You may get one or two more prompt screens before you get to the main data transfer screen. I've got one here for Apple Wallet and I'm going to tap on set up later. And here we go. Finally got there. Transferring data from iPhone. This transferring data process took me about 20 minutes to transfer about 60 gigabyte of data from my old iPhone to the new iPhone 12. But for you, it could be faster or slower depending on how much data you're transferring over. And finally, the data transfer is complete and our iPhone 12 should be an exact copy of our old iPhone. And for me, not only is this the case, but it's even restored all my emails, 20,000 of them in fact, which went missing on my old iPhone because the memory on it had maxed out. So there you go. I hope this video has helped you out. Please thumbs it up if it has, and please also subscribe for my future tech guides and reviews, which would include tech guides on the new iPhone 12. Thanks for watching.